Hello guys and welcome to Otson Bundesliga, 7th match day, Bayern Munich enter at Frankfurt for instance, Bayern they are thrashing every single team, let's listen to Radex tips and of course give me your prediction, write a comment below in the video and if you enjoy our videos don't forget click on the like, subscribe and click on the bell to get notifications and now let's go on with the show. Seventh max day of the Bundesliga. Radek, how are you doing? Very good, and I'm looking forward to this game day. And by the way, it's my birthday. If you guess my age right, post it into the comments. And the one who's right with the comments, maybe we have a present for him, or maybe at least a shout out in the next video. Happy birthday, Ben Radek. Happy birthday. I wouldn't dare to tell your age. <laughs> or to try to guess it, we can open a market in Otspedia.com about uh, your age. But let's uh, start with the tips and let's start with the game on Friday. Cologne first, uh, first, still the worst team in this Bundesliga. One point we expected them to lose against Bayern Munich, despite some comment that said first we'll get a point from Bayern Munich. Save my words. It didn't happen, uh, Radek, but what happened is Cologne that they are still making points. It was a draw against uh, Eintracht, three draws in a row for them, low odds as we can imagine. For Cologne, a team that have only one defeat this season and was against Bayern Munich, of course. And also uh, only two win and uh, win against uh, not the, the best team in the league. But anyway, Cologne is doing great and they must win this home game, but the odds of 1.5 are too low for a team like Cologne, who is not uh, one of uh, the favorite teams uh, you want to put money on. And it's too dangerous because someday maybe Fürth will also make a point or will win a game and um, it's not impossible for them here. As I said last week, it's impossible for them to make a point against Bayern Munich. And, uh, but they did in the second half. They uh, draw in the second half against Bayern Munich. That's not bad. And um, they show some improvements from game to game. They um, develop their game and adopt to the new league. And so uh, adapt to the new league. And that's why, um, yeah, it's very, very dangerous to bet on Cologne. Anyway, Cologne uh, seems to be better and uh, might win this game. In a game uh, without money, I would say Cologne wins 2-1, but uh, not uh, uh, risking money on these bad odds. Let's see if we fancy the odds, probably not for Dortmund to win, because it's only 1.27 Borussia Dortmund. Augsburg, uh, Dortmund, they lost against uh, Gladbach. They had a lot of uh, absentees in that game. They also lost uh, Dahoud with a uh, red card during the game. So, second defeat of the season for them. But now they play a team like Augsburg. They lost against Freiburg. Uh, only one victory for Augsburg. And what is more impressive, <laughs> still only two goals scored. And we are already at the end of September. Yes, and um, Augsburg is uh, struggling a lot and um, I don't know how Augsburg managed to win against Borussia Mönchengladbach 1-0. The, the Borussia Mönchengladbach who beats Borussia Dortmund 1-0 and so my, maybe Augsburg might be better than Borussia Dortmund if we uh, compare these games. But in reality, they are not. Um, their chance can be that Borussia Dortmund also has to face a Champions League game against Sporting Lissabon now uh, this week. And yeah, as you said, um, Royce and Haaland were not um, in uh, their, their team uh, in the last game. And uh, if Haaland is not there, Borussia Dortmund is worth only a half and maybe uh, if he's back against Augsburg, uh, yeah, they're getting back on track. But these odds on Borussia Dortmund are, are really bad and really low. And on the other hand, um, it's not the best thing to speculate on a weak team like Augsburg that they have a chance against Borussia Dortmund to even keep the game close. So um, another impossible bet. Um, also, if you are into betting totals or 
goals and this is not a really good thing and the only maybe interesting thing is to bet on Augsburg might score but they only did twice in this season but if both teams score you get odds of 1.95 um, this is the best you can find, but uh, anyway, this is also not good because Augsburg um, has not the, the strikers. But Dortmund has weak uh, defense as they, uh, they conceded more goals than Augsburg in their first six games. Dortmund got 12 goals in six games. Every uh, In every game they get two uh, goals. Maybe, maybe they also get goal against uh, Augsburg and then you have value on this both teams to score with 1.95. But um, betting on a weak team like Augsburg, I said, uh, is no option. Mm, then let's go Erta Freiburg. Uh, surprisingly, I thought that both have exactly the same odds to win. 2.77, but we are seeing a way better team in this beginning of the season, like Freiburg, 12 points. They are fifth in the standings. They beat Augsburg, uh, no defeats yet this season, and they are playing a team like Erta that they were thrashed 6-0 uh, by Leipzig. And yes, it's true that they have six points, but because they beat the fourth and Bochum, the two weakest teams in this Bundesliga, that's why the probably the bookies are taking in consideration that Erta, they have a great squad, but they are not playing well. Yeah, that's uh, totally sick. Uh, these odds uh, doesn't make any sense. And after we had two really bad odds on home teams and favorites in the first two games, now we have really um, also low odds on the home team because, uh, as you mentioned, Hertha uh, got thrashed 6-0 against Leipzig, doesn't show any skill of uh, soccer. And <laughs> on the other hand, we have a team which is um, not losing games. Freiburg has uh, not lost uh, five go games in a row and they are on position five now. And that's why everything um, shouts, yeah, this is value on Freiburg, Asian Handicap, um, zero on Freiburg means you get your money back if there's a draw, if Freiburg wins you get odds of 1.89 and uh, this is uh, the, the most, uh, yeah, the, the, the best bet I, um, I can imagine, but uh, on the other hand, yeah, in the Bundesliga, there are always comebacks and ups and downs of every team. So Freiburg had his ups six games in this Bundesliga season. No loss uh, besides Bayern Munich. Freiburg is the only team who has not lost a game. And um, they will lo lose someday, maybe even against Hertha. But it seems um, like every fact we have on the table. And it's, it's a good bet to um, go with the trend of Freiburg. Mm, yep, yeah, it looks like a good bet and probably you also think the same about the next game, Stuttgart-Hoffenheim. Also same odds for both uh, teams, for Stuttgart to win or Hoffenheim to win, but Stuttgart, they were not able even to beat uh, Bochum in the last uh, match day. Uh, only five points so far, they are performing way worse than the previous season. And Hoffenheim also, they were struggling until you mentioned, be careful because Offenheim can score at any time. Well, three goals against Wolfsburg, Kramaric and Baugunter in the score sheet. Uh, good odds, no? I guess also for Hohenheim, they are looking better than Stuttgart this season. Yeah, but uh, if you watch the results of Hoffenheim, they are a classical roller coaster, up and down every time. They win against a, a strong team like Wolfsburg, but then they are not able to beat Arminia Bielefeld. And they even lose against Mainz. Um, yeah, but on the other hand, uh, they had uh, some good results. And the last result is the most important one, uh, that they beat Ho um, Wolfsburg at home. Um, I don't know how to rate Stuttgart because uh, I have always in my mind that they are um, a really um, motivated, young, good team as they were last season, but it seems that they uh, have to struggle this season more because they sold uh, Nicolas Gonzalez to Florence uh, or Fiorentina, I think. 
and um, yeah they have some other um, problems to win games so um, the last uh, games were not really good of them um, and so everything yeah also shouts that we have a value on Hoffenheim with Asian handicap zero on Hoffenheim you get odds of 1.93 that seems uh, like a no-brainer um, because Hoffenheim showed that they are able to to beat the big teams and um, if they manage to yeah, concentrate on also middle or weak teams uh, like Stuttgart then they should beat uh, Stuttgart as well and they should not lose this game but um, somehow I, I, I fancy that there is uh, a draw in this game because we have two teams in the south uh, Stuttgart is the traditional team they have a lot of uh, fans and uh, um, they're playing at home and they have to show something so I think Stuttgart will be uh, better than in the last games and Hoffenheim yeah, playing away um, always showing some uh, two-face and that's why I, I like to bet on a draw here but um, you 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 are right off with uh, Asian Handicap Zero as well here on Hoffenheim as they might be the better team. Two options then, or draw, either draw or Hoffenheim Asian Handicap Zero. In your opinion then, if Hoffenheim is a roller coaster, also Gladbach. Now they are visiting Wolfsburg, uh, seven points for Gladbach, able to beat uh, Borussia Dortmund with that goal scored by Zakaria. But when they play away, they are very poor, three defeats. And Wolfsburg, uh, since we <laughs> mentioned that they have to fall because they were top in the Bundesliga, no victories for them in the last uh, three games. They are playing Champions League. Remember, uh, so I don't know how you see this big game actually. Mm, um, also a draw, just to make it short, because I think Gladbach is uh, getting better game after game. Winning against Dortmund was a, was really big for them, because uh, I think uh, less people expected this and um, yeah, no matter uh, which team of Dortmund was on the pitch, uh, Gladbach um, didn't concede a goal and they, they beat Borussia Dortmund. That is huge. On the other hand, uh, yeah, Wolfsburg uh, also had problems uh, against Hoffenheim and uh, the last game also against Frankfurt, I think. And that's why it's not uh, good to bet on a home win here in Wolfsburg because the odds are around 2.2. This, this is a, a bit too low in my eyes. That's why I find value on a draw with 3.75. I always bet only a third of a unit on draws because I risk less and I win one unit if there's a draw. And if I have a draw in every third game, I make profit. And that's the way I like uh, draws because they happen more often than someone expects and you get huge odds and yeah the, uh, that's why betting on a uh, draw here is uh, perfect draw it is then then we have uh, leipzig bochum uh, leipzig only two victories this season but was a six nil against erta four nil against stuttgart and now they are playing bochum that is the worst uh, defense in the bundesliga 13 goals considered so leipzig to win heavily Mm, seems so and um, on the other hand Leipzig has a Champions League game and uh, we all know that Leipzig ha struggles a lot in this season and uh, after Champions League um, uh, last time I think they, they also uh, yeah, had trouble in the Bundesliga. Um, we, we never know. Um, everything uh, leads to a clear win of Leipzig but you don't get money for it that's uh, like um, yeah insane betting on small odds because uh, it's unfair um, if anything happens uh, then you have problems and that's why I don't like these low odds on Leipzig on the other hand betting against Leipzig is also no option because they are too strong and that's why, um, yeah, another favorite uh, bet um, doesn't make any sense and I don't touch this game. 
Okay, actually the odds are that low that to find odds around 2.0 that we always like. We have to go for Leipzig Asian Handicap minus 2. In this case, we have 2.16. Mm. Heavy favorites, of course. Uh, Leipzig to beat Bochum. On Sunday, we have Mainz Union Berlin. Two teams that are good, actually, this season, especially Mainz, uh, despite the defeat against Leverkusen, the second defeat of the season. But they are very strong when they are playing at home. Two victories, one draw, and we know that Union Berlin, they are playing in Europe, so they will be tired for this game. And they got a victory, that's true, in the last game against Bielefeld. Do you like these odds for Mainz to win? Not at all, because um, even if uh, Mainz is really a surprising game after game and also a one goal uh, loss against Leverkusen is not too bad and uh, they only conceded three goals in the season. Uh, remember, Borussia Dortmund got 12 goals, four times more than uh, Mainz conceded in only six games. And uh, that's a key point of their style of playing. They have a really good defense and they uh, yeah they like to score uh, more goals than uh, their opponent and in this game or in any game i don't see mines as a favorite and uh, 2.0 on mines is never an option even if they play against a second league team um because you can't trust them um after all big same it's kind of the same thing with Freiburg they they like to have strikes and uh, win some games uh, but uh, the other teams are learning uh, out of every game and they have video analysts they know how they're playing they know how to crack minds uh, especially Union Berlin has some really dangerous uh, player who can score against uh, uh, the good defense of Mainz and that's why I, I can't say Mainz is the favorite here. On the other hand, as you said, Union Berlin might be tired as they have the uh, game in the Europe League and um, I really uh, think uh, this is a, a also a classical draw bet. Um, no matter what you bet, um, everything can happen. So I always call it a coin flip. You throw a coin and um, yeah, you can't say that this is a clear favorite. So the odds have, have to be, be uh, higher at Mainz and lower on Union Berlin. So two options again, we find value on Union Berlin, maybe double chance or um, as I like more is betting on a draw here. and. Um, this is my third draw uh, on this game day and if I win one of it uh, I make profit and that's more everyone can expect <laughs> or the most people can expect in betting on Bundesliga. Then this is a draw, next one Allianz Arena, Bayern Munich, Eintracht. <laughs> Let me know where you find the value here. 23 goals scored for Bayern Munich in the start of the Bundesliga, 8 consecutive victories. Everything is very positive for Nagelsmann in the direction of this new Bayern Munich with a lot of young players and Frankfurt, no victories yet for them in the season. Five draws, six consecutive actually, uh, and five consecutive 1-1 one, one <laughs> result, which is kind of odd. Where do you find the value here? Yeah, never bet against Bayern Munich and um, betting on Bayern Munich uh, is also dangerous in, in these days. Now we're uh, seeing some weather change. This is a, this is a thing um, professional sports better um, have a look on because if it's getting colder, um, yeah, it's more likely that the underdogs um, can surprise because the favorites, um, yeah, are, are kind of a bit frozen. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there, are, uh, that's a statistical fact that uh, in the cold month uh, we see um, a rise of the underdogs, and um, we had some uh, great games between Bayern Munich and Frankfurt in the last years, and Frankfurt. Um, was the reason that Nico Kovac was fired uh, from Bayern Munich once because two years ago or one and a half ago uh, Frankfurt won 5-0 or 5-1 against Bayern Munich 
Uh, I don't think this will happen again. I think it's, it's a close win, so maybe we might find um, value on Frankfurt, but um, I never bet against Bayern Munich. Um, on the other hand, I don't bet uh, on Bayern Munich after the Champions League game and after this streak, because every streak comes to an end. And I don't think in this game day, but betting on it is a, is a completely different thing because you don't get money on these favorite bets. And just remember, no one ever made money in the long run with favorite bets because uh, the bookmakers uh, know best and they put the odds so low that if you always betting on favorites, you won't uh, make money in the long run. Because if you lose one of these bets, you have to uh, you need four or five bets to recover and that's ne nearly impossible and so don't uh, yeah don't bet on Bayern Munich on this game day. All right if someone thinks uh, that Frankfurt can keep it close uh, Asian Hatica plus two we can take a look and the odds are 2.3 so if they lose for two goals you get your money back. Uh, if they don't get hammered, but the thing is that uh, by a minute they are thrashing every single team, even Barcelona playing away in the Champions League, no matter who they have uh, in front, that they are thrashing them. And the last game, Bielefeld Leverkusen, odds 1.77 to win for Leverkusen away, and they are second in the standings. They are doing a very good season, only one defeat against uh, Borussia Dortmund. And Bielefeld always competitive, uh, but they don't get a lot of points, only four points. They lost uh, to Union Berlin and we get bored uh, game after game no? with Bielefeld. I don't think many people watch their games. Three goals scored and only six goals conceded. It's very low after six games. Uh, do you like this 1.77 for Leverkusen? Yes, uh, uh, very much, uh, because of all reasons you said. But on the other hand, uh, I don't uh, think that you watch Bielefeld games for entertainment. Um, Bielefeld has really, really uh, uh, very, very uh, cool and friendly supporters. Uh, I met some of them in Lisboa and uh, they're so uh, loving their team, uh, be not because they're entertaining, just because they're a small team with small money and fighting and that's a, that's a cool thing so uh, especially at home at their Alm it's called Alm like you are in the mountains on a small hat uh, that's called Alm and, and in the stadium um, yeah they might have a chance even against Leverkusen they had a 0-0 against Hoffenheim at home they draw against Frankfurt 1-1 at home so they're not a bad home team they uh, seem to put all players on the line in the goal and uh, there's it's hardly to score against them at home and on the other way Leverkusen always finds ways to score uh, as they scored three times against Borussia Dortmund and three times against Stuttgart and four times against Augsburg and four times against Gladbach. Leverkusen is one of the best teams this season. I like them and uh, the odds are brilliant. You have to, to bet on this 1.77 for sure. Um, but always keep in mind uh, that uh, yeah we always uh, underrate Bielefeld and um, they might surprise again. But um, yeah, everything else than a Leverkusen win uh, would be a surprise. And we don't bet on surprises; we bet on the facts. And the facts are Leverkusen is very good. The odds are really attractive, and that's why 1.77 is a great bet on Leverkusen. Mm, you can we can have fun by betting on Bielefeld games, probably not by watching them. There are better things to do in this life. Then Radek, tell me your aka or your double bet or whatever you have for us in this match day. Yes, I have two um, games uh, I want to combine as a double bet. Um, I don't like these favorite Akkas, as I say every time. And I hope you learn something out of that, because if I combine two draws, I get odds of 12 or 13. It's hard to find these high odds with a lot of games. So um, just combine two 
draw combine two draws and um, I gave you three options on this game they what uh, I think can be a draw that might be Stuttgart versus Hoffenheim that might be Hertha versus Freiburg and that might be Wolfsburg against Borussia Mönchengladbach and also the, uh, uh, the fourth option is Mainz against Union Berlin my favorite uh, two picks on this game day are Mainz Union Berlin as a draw and uh, Stuttgart Hoffenheim as a draw we get odds of around 13 if we combine these two draws and um, yeah it's, it's not impossible to to hit these two draws and we always hope for the best thanks Radek thanks for your tips as always and see you next week wish you the best we know more about uh, Radek's uh, Aka. you can make a system with the draws for instance you can choose whatever you want but at least now you have more information about betting in the Bundesliga. Let me know what you think about Radex tips in the comment section and don't forget, click on the like, subscribe and click on the bell to get notifications or also if you prefer, we have a podcast for you. See you soon and thanks for watching.